I got a question yesterday on how to use a custom local large language model with Llama Index. And as of yesterday, I didn't have a local language model set up on my machine. So that was the first thing I had to figure out. And so I decided to, to go with Alpaca, which is a, a popular open source model, um, or Llama, Llama and Alpaca. Uh, and so I used this the instructions from this repo to uh, to download and yeah to download the model. However, I couldn't get this thing working. So um, if you if you try this and you don't get this working, don't worry about it. Uh, as as long as you have the model installed on your machine, then we can tap into it uh, using using Llama Index. So here's uh, here's the example code from the documentation. And what I noticed was it says to use a custom LLM model model, you need to implement the LLM class from Langchain. So because Langchain is what is being used under the hood to, to pull in a, our custom LLM, um, I decided to check out the Langchain documentation and I found uh, an integration specifically for um, Llama, which which is what we're we're using. And this line of code let me know that, oh, this is going to be simpler than I anticipated. So um, here's the here's what we need. And instead of uh, using Langchain for the rest of this, uh, we can just use the LLM predictor. And so let me show you the code because it's really simple. Um, here we go. Here we're, we're pointing to the model that I've downloaded. Um, and we're using the prompt helper because this particular model has a context limit of 512 tokens. So we have to set uh, these variables to be within that. Uh, or just in order to get this example to work for you, I had to play around with this a little bit. Um, I did get some like weird results at first. Uh, for example, I had like negative chunk overlap it was kind of weird but anyway this what you're looking at right here this works um, and then we build our directory as we usually do and then we can query it as well so here's the query that I've got how to open the instructions file because there's a document in here that, that spells out how to do that um, and it's not a lot of text so the token limit shouldn't shouldn't get hit so uh, what happens when we run this? Let's take a look. So first it loads the model and we can actually see here the the context limit which is 512 tokens. I'm assuming this is the embeddings. I, I can't explain the rest of this so I won't even try but down here this is the the response or the result that we were hoping for. Um, it says on a Mac press the command plus O keys to open the instructions file. Uh, so this this works successfully, um, but like I said, there's a, a really small context window. Uh, so you have to play with the, the prompt helper, or, or you might just want to use like a bigger model or a model with a larger context window. Um, and then the other thing that you might want to play with is the uh, like the prompt, the underlying prompt um, to to kind of see how you know, how that changes things as well. But anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Let me know in the comments if you have questions, anything interesting um, to explore, let me know there as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with coding or if you're new to coding like I am, I've got a webinar called Prompt Code 101 where I break down my process for use of how I use ChatGPT to code. Um, and then if you're into creating AI chatbots, which is why we're looking at these two libraries in the first place. Um, then I have another course called AI Chatbot Mastery where we uh, continue this journey uh, even deeper. So yeah, peace.